Hey, what's going on guys? It's Justin here with Summit Racing and we're here in the Summit studio with this beautiful C8 Corvette. And what we're gonna be doing today are some fun, easy installs. And those installs are gonna be a new air filter and an oil separator on this car. Now the oil separator comes from Corsa and what it's gonna do is it separates the oil from the air in the PCV system and keeps oil from circulating back into the engine to keep the engine clean on the inside. So we got an air filter from our friends over at AFE and it's not only cleanable, but it should give the car a little more power as well. So when you service the thing, you don't have to replace the air filter every time, you simply just clean it and put it back in the car. So follow along while we do these couple installs and maybe you can learn something with us today. So we're gonna start off by installing our air filter first and to do that, we need to take off this carpeted panel and to remove that panel, we need to remove these two plastic pieces and then these two tie downs as well. So with all that removed, now we're gonna pop out these little plastic retainers in the bottom of the trunk. We have two plastic clips on this side. We're gonna remove two on this side as well. Those removed, we can go ahead and pull out this carpet panel. With the carpet removed, now we can go ahead and remove this panel. With all the screws removed, now we can go ahead and remove this panel. So with that panel removed, now we can see our air box. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove this lid. So it was about time for an air filter service anyway. And the nice thing about our new air filter is you'll be able to remove it, clean it, and then replace it instead of buying a new air filter. So it's gonna save you a little bit of money in the long run. We're just gonna take a minute and clean out the air box. Now with our air box all wiped out and cleaned, it's time to install our new air filter. And the nice thing about this filter is it's actually a dry filter. So when you go to clean it, you just use soap and water and dry it out and there's no oil required. Go ahead. And Slip it over our boss there. Things nice and stuck on there. And a thing to note is when we install, put our cover back on, we're gonna wanna make sure our gasket stays in place because it's very important that we don't get a leak in the air box of this thing. We're ready to go ahead and reinstall our air box cover. And we're all just gonna run all these in a little bit. And then we'll come back and tighten them by hand in a star pattern. So we got our airbox cover on and we got all our bolts started. Now we're gonna go ahead and tighten them all in a star pattern. So we're gonna go from here to that corner, that corner to here, and then so forth. So now we've gone ahead and got our cover installed and tightened and made sure our gasket stayed in place. So now we just need to reassemble everything we took out. With our access panel reinstalled and all the bolts tightened, now it's time to reinstall our carpet. Reinstall our plastic clips. and then our plastic covers. And just like that, our air filter install is done. Now let's move on to our Corsa air separator kit. So we went ahead and got our air filter installed on our Corvette, and now it's time to install our oil separator. Now before we do that, we need to prep this thing a little bit by putting the fittings in it and the plug and getting ready to put it on the car. So we're gonna go ahead and throw some PTFE tape on the fittings and then get this thing installed. We're gonna start with the bottom plug. So 
So now that we got the bottom plug installed, we can install the side plugs. Now once all those three things are installed, we can go ahead and put the bracket on the car, get this bolted in and installed. So now that we have our oil catch can prepped, it's time to start installing it. And first we need to install this bracket right here on the passenger side using these two pre-existing nut certs. So we're just gonna take the hardware that Corsa gave us. Go ahead and tighten these up. With our bracket installed, now it's time to install our catch can. So now that we have our bracket installed and our catch can ready, we're gonna go ahead and hang that. And then we're just gonna start our three bolts that hold it. With our catch can hung, we can go ahead and now disconnect our PCV hoses and get our new hoses installed. Our factory PCV line removed. We can go ahead and slide this tube on this barbed fitting here, connect it to this one, and slide this tube, this barbed fitting here. And we are all done. Now you're gonna wanna empty this thing about every time you change the oil. So basically what this does, as the oil air mixture enters this, there's a baffle on the inside and the oil can't flow as good as the air. So it separates the oil out and then the oil ends up in the bottom of the catch can. So this really benefits just the life of your engine and keeping it clean overall. So that's it for our air filter and air oil separator install. Both these upgrades are great long-term upgrades for this car, with the air filter being great because you can clean it and versus replacing it every time you need to change it. And it also let the car breathe a little bit better. And then the oil separator will allow the PCV system to keep oil out of the intake and just some greater overall health for the engine. So if you like what you saw, make sure to hit that subscribe button to the Summit Racing YouTube channel and punch that notification bell while you're at it so you don't miss out on any of the cool content we put out from Corvette stuff to celebrity interviews, tool reviews, and so much more, the channel is packed full of good stuff. I'm Justin with Summit Racing. Thanks for watching.